Tonight on Newsbeat, new details emerge in the investigation of an LSU fraternity. And actress Gabrielle Union spoke with Tiger TV reporter Emily Dillon about a traumatic experience that shaped her life. All this and more, Newsbeat starts right now. Good evening and welcome to Newsbeat. I'm Brett Hauser. And I'm Michaela Morgan. Thanks for joining us for the final Wednesday Newsbeat of the semester. The university has opened an investigation regarding an alleged incident at the Lambda Chi Alpha Fraternity House. A Lambda Chi employee told Tiger TV the fraternity is currently on probation and handed down almost 50 suspensions and expulsions last week. At this point, there has been no official comment from the fraternity or university regarding the events which prompted the investigation. However, many believe the investigation has to do with hazing in the fall of 2015. The Office of the Dean of Students will conduct a preliminary investigation into the allegations. Whether you were prepping for finals or spending the day with Netflix, it was a good day to stay inside as spring storms swept across the country. Baton Rouge and the LSU campus saw heavy rain in the early afternoon. Scattered showers continue through the afternoon and are expected to continue into the night. The rain will persist into next week, but expect some relief with scattered clouds on Friday. Gabrielle Union came to campus as part of the Delta Gamma Lectureship in Values and Ethics speaker series. We caught up with Union to find out more about an experience that changed her life. Actress and social activist Gabrielle Union was at LSU yesterday as the key speaker of Delta Gamma Fraternity's Lectureship in Values and Ethics program. I was raped while I was working. Um, uh, and what that does to a person, it's, it's, almost, it's almost worse than being killed. Because a recent study found that almost 23% of female undergraduate students said that they had experienced some form of sexual assault. In a Q&A style interview, Union shared her experience with sexual assault in hopes of helping other victims who are afraid to speak out. Taking care of your, your mind, body, and soul, um, then it's really up to you how you want to proceed um, on your path to, um, to being a survivor. Uh, going the legal route and, and getting criminal justice is not for everyone. Um, that's a whole other animal. Um, <laughs> So people always ask me, why? Why do you talk to why do, why do you continue? For Tiger TV, I'm Emily Dillon. For more information about sexual assault and support services, please visit the LSU Health Center on their website. Two house bills could be lighting the way for Louisiana universities to grow and possibly sell hemp and medical marijuana. House Bill 1085 would allow ag centers to grow hemp, while House Bill 1099 would permit universities to cultivate and wholesale medical marijuana. You're looking uh, probably a couple years out before the product is available because we have to design and build production facilities. Currently what we envision, it will be here in Baton Rouge somewhere, in the Baton Rouge greater area, because uh, LSU and Southern uh, more than likely will enter into a joint venture. LSU is known for breaking records on the field, but this new broken record comes from the classroom. Nadine Abusada has more. Students come to LSU for many reasons, but rapidly increasing diversity on campus has made Baton Rouge more appealing for many international students. Hola, me llamo Lorenzo Castro. Soy de Honduras y soy un estudiante aquí en la Universidad Estatal de Louisiana. 안녕, 내 이름은 양다형이고, um, LSU 학생이야. <laughs> Mit Navem Marcus Hüfner, um, ja, ja, für Christensen in Norge, og er en student ved LSU. I'm Chris, I'm from LSU, and I'm Vietnamese American. Louisiana State University was an all-white male Christian school in 1920, but this year we have broken a record in the amount of diversity, hitting an all-time high of 25%. More African Americans graduating from LSU than ever before, more enrolling than ever before, uh, more um, Latino and Hispanic students, uh, more women graduating than ever before. We spoke with Cheyenne Siniel, an international student from New Zealand, to see what it was like when he first came to visit the flagship school. Basically, taught me the ways of going to LSU and like what LSU is all about, 
I want to do here. What is it that draws these international students to LSU? I knew that I want to go to a warm place with, uh, with a university that's focused on sports. So LSU just seemed like a really good fit for that. We asked students from different backgrounds, cultures, and sects, what is it that drew them to LSU? The crazy thing is, it was all the same reasons. Um, we just simply opened the doors and said, come if you like, but we're doing it a little differently now. We're saying, please come. We want you to come. Not come if you like, but this is a place for you. For Tiger TV, I'm Nadine Abusada. The Office of Diversity stresses that we might all come from different backgrounds, but we all love purple and gold. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Nadine. And it isn't only students who want to make their home at LSU. Reporter Desiree Robertson shows us what furry friends are looking to make a new home here on LSU's campus. There we go. Now that's a When looking for a dog, Jonathan Selly only adopts from shelters. He says dogs Hello. like Gilmore have a lot of love to give because of their past. I feel like they appreciate it more because they see what the struggle is for dogs. They see the, the shelter life. Gilmore is not the only one getting a new home. After five decades in North Baton Rouge, the Companion Animal Alliance is moving. Administrative Director Kathy Coates says a new facility is needed because the old one can no longer handle their needs. Back then there wasn't so much of a focus on finding adoption homes and positive outcomes for the animals that came into the shelter. The new shelter will be on River Road, only minutes away from here, the LSU Veterinary School. The hope is that the change in location will help save more animals' lives. With increased adoptions from the new facility, we'll be able to accommodate more. CAA believes the move will lead to an increase in adoptions and will help them become a no-kill shelter. LSU Veterinary School Public Relations Director Ginger Gutner says the change in location will encourage more people to visit. I think they're out by the airport. It's a little hard to find. Um, everybody's very familiar with the campus. The campus sees a lot of visitors on a regular basis, so I think that's only going to be good for the shelter. So far, the shelter has raised $10 million from private foundations, but still needs $2 million before they can start construction. Steely hopes the shelter can raise the money so they can help more dogs like Gilmore. I feel like they know what they're doing when it comes to adopting dogs and having them rescued. And CAA plans to start construction before the end of the year. For Tiger TV, I'm Desiree Robertson. The CAA has started a public campaign to raise the remaining $2 million. For more information or how to donate, please visit CAABR.org. When we come back, we're going around the country with the latest in national news. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Earlier today, Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz announced former candidate Carly Fiorina would be his running mate if he were to be nominated. You know, I ran for the presidency because I think it's time to take our country back. This announcement came after Donald Trump swept all five of Tuesday's primaries. As for the Democrats, Hillary Clinton won in Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, and Pennsylvania, leaving Bernie Sanders with a victory in Rhode Island. Hear what the candidates had to say. I consider myself the presumptive nominee, absolutely. We will unify our party to win this election. We are in this campaign to win and become the Democratic nominee. Despite his optimism, Sanders said he would be forced to lay off hundreds of campaign workers in after yesterday's loss. A male employee was found dead in a conference room at Apple's headquarters in California. Santa Clara County sheriffs say there are no suspects and no one is in danger. Apple's campus remains open. In an unrelated story, a decrease in iPhone sales led to Apple's first quarterly sales drop in more than a decade. The sales drop led to an almost 7% plunge in Apple stock today. Ford is recalling over 200,000 pickup trucks, SUVs, and cars due to issues with transmissions. Ford will also be recalling more than 80,000 Explorer SUVs due to suspension issues. The recalls cover the 2011 and 2012 F-150s, as well as the 2012 Expedition, Mustang, and Navigator. The issues have caused three accidents, but no one has been injured. When we come back, we remember some of our favorite moments from Wednesday Newsbeat. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Newsbeat. As you may have heard, this is our last show of the semester. We want to thank you all for tuning in here at TigerTV.tv. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but before we go, we're going to share a couple of our favorite moments from the Wednesday Newsby show. Anyone? I definitely know I'm going to miss all of you over the summer. <laughs>
especially Brett. Um, I'm going to miss my co-anchor, Michaela, who welcomed me so graciously onto the show. Did not. You're like a live shot person? <laughs> just forgot about me? And Emily, and Emily. She came a little bit later, but we're going to Okay, have a good summer, Tigers. <laughs>